Hello everyone, my name is Kent Barber from Game Logic Design. Today I'm going to take you through the new features coming to 40 Paint for R20. Now 40 Paint is actually part of 40 Publish for R17, 18 and 19. And what I'm going to be showing you today is the new work that's been done and this will all be coming initially to R20. So here we are in R20. I'm just going to load up a file. This file came from Mari. So it was exported from Mari with multiple UDIMs and multiple textures per UDIM. And here we have the um, imported file into Cinema 4D. So I've just got my view set up there in a different tab. So that's the texture there, the little creature that you'll see in the Mari tutorials. And when we bring it into Cinema 4D, Cinema 4D doesn't have a concept of UDIMs. So to do this, it automatically, um, I've got tools in here that will automatically create and set up uh, multiple materials. You can see the object there with multiple materials and it sets all the textures up for you automatically with selection sets. So here are the materials, and these are actually, uh, each of these is considered a UDIM. And we also have a UDIM view. So we click on the UDIM view, you can see the traditional UDIM view look that you have from other applications. And you can come in here. There's no painting or anything in this at the moment, but uh, I may add that later on. But if you do want to paint on these UDIMs, you can actually just click on the painting tab, and you can just select the one you want, and you can just start painting using the paintbrush tool up here. You can actually just part paint on there. And uh, selecting these will show you the different different images for each of the materials, if you want to just paint on them individually. Um, but generally painting, you want to do that in a um, normal viewport uh, in, in 3D. So what I'm going to do is come over to this viewport here, and this is the 3D view. And with that paintbrush selected, this is a sculpting based paintbrush. So if I just pull this across, you'll see the all the same kind of sculpting features here. And I'm just going to turn on symmetry. And I'm just going to paint symmetrically onto this model. Actually, I want to do it on, your new, on a new layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the material view. And I'm going to add a new layer. This layer is going to be called uh, New Layer. The names have to be unique because they're going to create a new layer with that name over every single material for that particular channel that you're painting on. So let's just go back to this view first. So now I want to select the new layer, and that's selecting that there, even though it doesn't select them all, um, that's selected new layer on every single material. So now if I paint here, let's just, I'll change the color as well, let's change it to put the color on there so we can see something else happening, and a little bit on the back legs there as well. So that has painted symmetrically in the viewport, and we're looking good. And so now I just want to go back to the material view here. And you'll see that the paint is now um, shown on all these materials. And if you want to, you can hide and show individual ones. And change their opacity as well. And I'll update the viewport there. Um, or you can actually work in what I'm now calling a UDIM view. Now this used to be called global, but I've changed the name to UDIM because it's basically what it's supporting. So now if I have a new layer selected and I change the opacity, it's going to change the opacity of the new layer on every single texture on all of the materials. And similarly, you can hide and show over all the materials. So that just lets you work more like a UDIM workflow in other applications. So you just select your layer here, and it internally selects all the layers on every single material that you've got on your object for that uh, current channel. So if we had other channels in here, they would show up in here, and you'd select the channel, and you'd see all the global layers, all the UDIM layers for that. Okay, so let's move on to a bit of painting. So if you do want to paint on these, you can switch to the painting view, and you can switch on these as well. So if I select this, and I use that same brush, um, and I can paint down onto the model there, and I can hide and show that layer there as well, and you can switch layers. Something I didn't show on the material view here was that you can also um, select uh, UVs as well in the, within these views at the moment. And if you want to, it does something quite nifty where if you have this selected and you want to create a new UDIM just for this piece, you can go right click and you can create a new UDIM uh, with no scaling or you can actually scale it to fit up, fill up the entire UV space. Uh, I'm going to leave it as it is for this piece. And what it will do is it will create a brand new UDIM with just that piece on there. And you see it's removed from there. And I can go right click and let's just bleed out the layers as well. So we get a little bit of bleeding out on the edge to remove any artifacts. And uh, I'm to show you the scaling bit, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to do that with scaling. So new UDIM, this is going to do that with scaling. So that one. And you see how it's scaled it up to take up the full space of the texture map. 
and it's being removed from over there. So let's go back to our model and have a look, and you'll see that it still looks exactly the same. Bit hard to see with that paint on on that uh, top layer. So let's go to the unum and we'll just switch off that paint view. So we can see there the creature looks exactly the same as it did before, but now now it's got a whole lot of extra utums. And if we go to the utum view, we're viewing the let's view the background layer. You see now we've got extra utums here. So we've got 1013, 1014, and they used to be down here. So they've been extracted and pulled into their own UDIM space. So what all I wanted to just show you today was was just the, the way, way of working with UDIMs. And I, I hope you enjoyed and find this useful and um, look forward to releasing it sometime in the near future. Cheers.